Welcome back, XCOM Operation Star Witch. Let's hope it goes all right. There's nothing to really configure at this point in time. We've got Jane Kelly. We've got Rookie Miller, Rookie O'Brien, and Rookie Goto. Let's get started. Communications with resistance forces in the area have gone dark, which can only mean one thing. These people sacrificed everything to give us this shot. We need to recover that converter at all costs. Here we go. Operation Star Witch. Now all the mod stuff seems to be showing up. Five out of five, that's what I expected. We've got eight turns. Let's try not to get everybody brutally murdered. That's affirmative. I'm gonna be real careful, I think, with the Overwatch. All right, we've got Kate O'Brien here. Move Kate a little further ahead. Go, go, go! And Jane. Where do we want to put Jane? I'd like for her to be in full cover and not spotted. How about down here. If we can't get the full cover, I'm all at least over we it. can do that. Alright, and we will... You know, I don't... I think it's way too early for Overwatch, now that I think on it. I'm on the move. Because I don't want to start a firefight this far out. I don't remember how many pods are going to be up here. This is almost like playing an entirely new game for me. So, Kate can get this far. Kenzo can get up here. So let's do that. Closing on target position now. Trying not to get them too spread out, but... Good to go. This is actually full cover if we put everybody up here. That is also full cover somehow. Malcolm, do you want to come this far? We have no idea what's in that building. Matter of fact, I think it seems very likely that there are aliens in that building. All right, we'll get everybody up here. I think, yeah. Getting it done. Good enough for now. Fire on the first enemy that moves within your line of sight, but only if we're running to watch. So that'll work. There's something out there. Yeah, there is. All right. Now it might be interesting to try and take cover in here, or to even get on the roof. I would like to have the high ground. What about Kate? I don't think we can get anybody up on the high ground here. Well, it looks like we can do it without being revealed. Because I don't show any 
reveal stuff there. Let's try it with Kate. Got it. Commander, we have a chance to do some serious damage here. Before jumping into combat, let's make sure we make the most of our advantage. The Advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Alright. So they say... Do an ambush. And I'm okay with that plan. But it's gonna take us a little while to get everybody up there. There's a ladder there. If we can put somebody here, we can probably get on the roof and get in a good position next time. But I also know that if I put somebody here, we won't be spotted. So let's out. do it. So there are... They're not revealed, but there's a group down here somewhere. Okay, and that is close where we need to be for that. So let's take a look. We've got Jane here. Jane really doesn't have any of her special abilities yet except Slash, which is mostly in the turn next to somebody start some serious some serious shit. Alright. I think I have a mod in place for that. Can we do it through here? I thought there was a mod settings. Here we are. Uh, ABS slots... No, Avenger menus. That's nice. You back all. Hmm. Thought I had one for the rotation, but maybe not. It should have been in the base game, though, let me tell you. It's one of those things where I get it. We're talking about squares, so rotating in that direction isomorphically makes some sense, but I don't know. Let's see here. We're not going to jump through the window. We can put Jane here, and she'll be in full cover. We can also get her on the roof. I mean, she's apparently not going to be spotted here. But I have no idea what will happen if somebody comes around the corner. So let's put her here. On the move. She's also the only one that can run an attack in the same turn, so that's fine. All right. Um. Now here, still not spottable. So let's do that. Got it. Moving. We should be able to do a really nice Overwatch ambush next turn. I hope. Depending on where these guys are. I can hear them, but I can't see them. I think they're right down in here somewhere. Now there are these two guys here, but that's not the full pod. How close can we get? I don't want to reveal ourselves yet. We are getting really close to the point where that's what we've got. Alright, let's try it, Malcolm. Moving on target location. Oh shit, there's a pod right there. They just saw us. They found us! Well wow, that's shitty. Here. We've triggered two pods at the same time. These guys make up the bulk of the advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined right. and I think well equipped, Jane can but help. their obedience makes them protect. Crap. I knew they were down there somewhere. Alright, luckily the pods are fairly small in size. Unfortunately, we're kind of flanked. So... Can anybody get down here and get a reverse shot on this guy? Absolutely we can. Looks like Kate can do that. Is there any cover that we can put Kate in to do that? Right here, I think. So let's do it. Let's move already. Right through the window. All right. So flanking is really good for us right now. We'll save Jane. Kenzo. 
I want to do is get Kenzo, like, right here, I think. So he can shoot out the window. I think that would be groovy. Although it's only half cover. I really want him right where that guy is. So maybe not yet. Or we can put Kenzo, like, here. And he can try and shoot this guy out. And I think maybe that's the way to go. On the move. Yeah, they didn't know how many of us there were. All right. Interestingly enough, we don't have flanking. We can only shoot two people. I don't like that. And we could pop a grenade, but I don't think it's time. What do we got here? All right. Target disabled. Oh, cool. Promotion earned. That's easier than looking around for, like, the little pips here. Kate found an autoloader. I've got your Rangers stuff here. are uniquely equipped for close quarters combat. In the right situation, it can prove highly effective. Yep, I believe it. So let's see if we can get her in there to perform the kill right now, right? Let's see, how good is a slash? Three to five damage. We're going to need both, I think, to do this. Now, we can actually put her outside and she can slash through the wall, which seems like some weird crap. Go ahead and blow this away. Three. Good. Excellent. It's not the best, but it's definitely enough that we can come in here and do a slash. Oh, crap. I got nothing. That's a problem. Take him out. Thank God. Target neutralized. Well, it's our first mission, and I'm already a little rusty. Sloppy? I don't know, man. We are marked. Ouch. They got me flanked. If they shoot me, I was in full cover too. If they shoot him, he's dead. Can't take much more of this. Damn. Brutal. All right. Um, we're under full cover though. This is full cover, so that was some good shooting on their part. 54%, 30%. I don't know where we could possibly retreat that would give us anything that's better and still maintain a line of sight. I mean, we could get up here behind half cover and elevation, but I don't think it will help. If I get over here, I'm in half cover, but I have a slightly better flanking chance. At this point, we have no more healing options. So I think what we have to do is toss the grenade. Can we get both of them? We can get him and the car, maybe. Or we can get them. It's three to four, and we can remove the cover. Can we? How much cover can we remove? A lot of cover. Let's Let's do this. Frag out! So let's see who else we got. Kenzo Goto. If you come over here, you can be under half cover. You also have... Interesting. 65% for 3 to 5? Hmm. If I put him here in the window, I don't think we'll be able to do something. We won't be able to jump through it as Kelly. So Kate needs to advance to here. Finally. Finally, you love jumping through windows. 70%. Do it. Who's keeping score? Man, we're all keeping score. So we're no longer marked. I'm not entirely sure what that did, but we are no longer marked. I feel like elevated ground may be better for us for shooting this person. So let's Position try. Confirmed. We don't have any cover up there, but elevation should give us something. Yeah, we've got they've got low cover, but we have a 20% height advantage, canceling that out. 
Nice. Jane. Okay, so notice that if I move in certain ways, it has me running through fire. We're not going to run through the fire. That's terrible. As a matter of fact, I'm a little wary about that car exploding, so let's kind of go over here. Yeah, that looks good. Running! Commander, we're running out of time here. If we don't stabilize the converter soon, I don't think anybody's going home today. That's what I was afraid of. All right. If we run that far, we can't do it. So... Let's consider what we need to do in order to prepare ourselves for future success. Let's do Overwatch. Overwatch. And then let's see if we can get some better cover at Overwatch. That's 50% cover. That car is still burning. Or 50% cover there. We can come over here and do 100% cover. I think maybe that's here smart. It's not very far away. We can get a little more parallax. So we're overwatched. I think we can put Goto on Overwatch from up here. Overwatch. We'll just have Jane take care of it. She's I'm already over it. here. Secure Hack it. Terminal. Hmm. Let's just go with the enemy protocol. Yep, no chance that we got it, so that's fine. Disarmed. We're good to go. We've got the well gear. Well done. Readings are returning to normal. Well, mostly normal. Firebrand is en route, but I wouldn't take any chances. Eliminate all remaining hostiles in the area before evac. I think there's only one pod left. And they're probably right here. So, where do we go that will keep us somewhat safe? Like right here, maybe? That seems to be really advanced. Let's send somebody who's healthy that way. Um, I feel like that's about the best we can do for her. Affirmative. Kenzo we can put here. Got it covered! Can we get eyes? Although they are. bear some resemblance oh, to the crap. sectoids first encountered during the invasion, their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. Yeah, I was afraid of that. All right. 45 and 25 on the sectoid. But we are still under full cover. Which I feel like it's kind of important. Can we get full cover on her? We can, but I don't know that it's useful. I think if we can get her up here, we can get flanking. Here, I think. On the move. There we go. Flanking. 70%, 70%, 62%. This is not a bad time for a grenade, I think, if we can hit them both. No. Okay. If we can blow up the sectoid, get rid of its cover, it might expose it to fire from other people and it will weaken it. I want that sectoid down before it tries to take us out, though. Frag out! There we go. Forty-five. Forty-five. All right, so that's a little better. We're the only person that can go? Ooh, should we do a shot or should we overwatch, I wonder? 
See, I don't want the penalty to aim. I want to just take shots now, I think. 45 is not great, but give it a shot. Negative damage. Oh, it's on fire at least. Ooh. I can't move. Yeah, you can't. You pissed. Okay, she's bleeding out at least. I was about to be super pissed. They're all over me. She's gonna be out of action for a while though. All right. Um. Kate. 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 Tired of waiting around. So we've got two. Advent Trooper. Take it out. You want some more? Toss me some ammo. Yeah, ammo is getting pretty dire. I was wondering how far we can get. If we can get here, I think we can get something on that sectoid. Really wish we could do a little better than that. I guess we'll go here. The half cover is better. Designated coordinates. Sixty-nine. You haven't used your grenade yet. They're still not close enough for a grenade, are they? Those guys. Look at that. Now... I think we'll just take out this Advent Trooper. Well, or not. Yeah, I didn't get it. Yeah, we noticed. Toss me some ammo! I don't think that tossing ammo is a thing we're really going to be able to accommodate this time. Crap. Alright, Jane's got two turns. I don't think anything can damage her while she's down, and they don't use grenade-type weapons anyway. Where is somewhere that we can go that is closer, but not going to get us immediately murdered? I'd like some flanking if we can do it. I don't see any way to really accomplish that. We can come up here and get a little more half. Or we can go to... Overwatch. I think we'll have to go to Overwatch. Come on, somebody move. There we go. Shit. Get it together. Oh. That was close. We're going to stabilize Jane. We can get to her. I'm okay with this. All right. So we have got a high cover penalty here. We cannot really get around. Nor do I think we can get to Jane and stabilize her. Can't even tell what square she's in cuz she's like on the middle of the guardrail. Where is she? Kate? Kate can do it. Let's do this. Oh shoot. Well, maybe it's okay. Oof. We've got some real hurt people here. Goodbye. How many is that now? That's a Out bunch. She got a point for a flanking shot. All right. Let's get under some high cover here. Now. Probably should have helped her, but she's got two turns left. So let's see if we can just take her out. I think everything auto stabilizes if we can finish the round. It's uh, still moving. Nope. All right, you out. got to try and get up on her. It, I think she's in this space here, because it won't let us move there. 
So let's take the half Already cover. There. I think that's close enough to stabilize. We can try and stabilize next turn. I thought we had a mod that allowed us to stabilize people. We didn't get it, did we? Damn. Jane's probably gonna die unless we auto-evacuate. Alright, look, buddy. You've got a grenade. Grenades do three damage. Bombs Just put away. it on him. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Whoa. All right, Operation Star Witch. We've got to get better at this. And we've got a new thing, take mission photo. Interesting. We can make propaganda posters, it looks like. station? We can even zoom out a little bit. Huh. Interesting. There we go, some fire and stuff in the background. I like that. And we can change the formation. Mob, solo, duo, wedge. Do the line. I don't think I'm gonna do this every time, or maybe I will somehow find a way to turn this into the mission ones from each time. So we can rotate people. change the positions so we can add well maybe we can only have three people in this particular one let's see no hmm let's put Kenzo on there real quick all these different presets I don't know anything at all about that so Fire team one, that'll work. Hands on hips. Let's do it in thought. <laughs> Guys, this is so crazy. This is weird. All right, background options. Like, I don't know, I mean, the text is ridiculous. Is there a... We're coming, the ultimate fire team. stuff is crazy. Uh, I mean, let's just use that, right? No, I like the 84 version. Alright. This is silly, and I'm not going to make you watch too much more of this, but I'm going to play with it just a little bit more. So we can do it like this, so we're on a poster. Pixelated. That's kind of fun. We're on an LCD, like a TV. I think we're just going to go with none. It grids it out too much. So we can hide the poster part and just make it a victory photo. I think we'll do that. I think we'll do that. Let's just go ahead and say take photo. There we go. And we'll continue. According to Advent officials, 
Recent attacks by dissident elements operating outside of the city centers have done little to slow the progress of Advent's ongoing development or outreach programs. Voluntary citizen emigration numbers are reportedly at their highest level in recent years. Our people earned well-deserved promotions, Commander. I'm guessing Shen will probably want to have a word with you, too. Man. Things went bad. Let's take a look at what we ranked up Operating as. Operating some of our most advanced equipment, specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. Nice. So... We can go with hack or aid protocol. Interesting. I think we want to go with hack. Battle medic's cool, but once we get med kits, we can do it anyway. This doesn't actually heal anybody. Oh no, we get both. Okay. That's fine. That's right. You don't get to select as a squatty. Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. Nice. So we've got squad sight and fire pistol. Cool. Go to, I'm assuming it will be our grenadier, because usually they give us one of each. Serving as our demolitions experts, the grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Nice. It's a huge gun. Includes Operation Starwitch. If you want to get in on the action, we can start modifying characters. We can put names in, change up color schemes. I'm going to see what I can do to get some basic uniforms set up, but I'm open. And we'll see you all next time.